This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Now this is the fourth one and the final installment in the video series called A Closer Look at SolidWorks 2010. I thought it'll be a pleasant way to round out this collection with a series of pretty pictures. Photorealistic ones rendered in PhotoWorks, to be exact. As you probably know, PhotoWorks is an easy, quick rendering plugin that comes with SolidWorks. So you can open your SOLIDWORKS design files, apply materials, select a preset scene, then hit render to produce a nice glossy image. In SOLIDWORKS 2010, PhotoWorks comes with two new functions that make your images even more realistic than before. The first is decal support. Simply put, it's an option for you to digitally project a 2D image onto your model's 3D geometry. It's quite a handy feature if you ever want to show a client how a product will look with their logo or emblem. It's pretty simple really. The way you do that is by going to PhotoWorks menu, by selecting decal, selecting the surface where you'd like to project that image onto, then dragging and dropping it there. Once it's on the surface, you'll have the option to resize, reorient, or reposition it along the surface using these sliders on the margin. Notice how the decal image conforms to the contour of the surface curves. That makes it extremely easy to place patterns and designs onto a 3D object. Now one thing to note here, it's nearly impossible to place a decal correctly onto a surface in an assembly mode. My recommendation is to identify the target component, place the decal there, save it, then relaunch the assembly with the decal already imprinted on that part. The next feature to discuss is depth of field. I'm sure you have noticed the way objects in the foreground look crisp and sharp, but those in the distance looks blurry in real life. Well, depth of field is a way to digitally simulate that look. Here, I've set up a scene with two objects. Now I'm adding a camera view to the scene. Here, you can position the camera just right so it's aimed at the two objects from the right angle. As you move your virtual camera, that is, the one aiming at your virtual objects, you'll notice your perspective window update accordingly. Well, I just realized I'm making this more confusing than necessary because the sample object I've picked to render for this exercise also happens to be a camera. But I think you get my point. Now let's move all the way down to the depth of field dialog box. First, you identify the target surface or point for the camera. Then you adjust the slider. And as you do, Notice how the three planes come together or go further apart. Think of those three planes as the camera's focus zone. That tells you that any objects that fall outside the outermost plane will look blurry because it is supposed to be out of focus. Once you have set it up correctly, you render it. And what you get is an image with sharp focus along the areas you have selected, but with the objects in the distance deliberately blurry. PhotoWorks with decal support is quite a useful feature for consumer goods designers, especially for those who need to figure out the exact positioning of a barcode, logo, sign, or a brand name. The ability to incorporate and simulate depth of field adds to its realism. The other three video reports on SolidWorks 2010 cover sustainability express, multi-body sheet metal parts, and design optimization function. You can find them at Virtual Desktop Blog or at the new Desktop Engineering fan page on Facebook. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, wishing you happy rendering.